Today is gonna be an epic day. I have been thinking about doing this for quite some time. Um, basically, it's gonna be a kite surfing and spear fishing matchup. What I'm gonna do is get up on the kite and go all the way down to the south tip of the island where there's a small fishing hut uh, out by the reef and I'm gonna attempt to land my kite there, do some spear fishing, and then on my way back, stop by a uh, bar where they'll hopefully cook it for me and that will be the day. I've got my old XR6. Every time I do something a little sketchy with the kite, I like to take my old kite in case I mess it up. And I've got my spear gun on the outside of my cooler this time. What I'm gonna do is put that cooler on my back while I'm kiting, never tried that before. Uh, and most importantly, I've got two leashes on my harness and you'll see that I'll need that for when I try to park the kite at the fishing hut. The new trick I've been working on is called spear gun to front. <laughs> Woo! Now I'm just kind of attacking the island. You can see all of downtown San Pedro behind me. I really might be digging myself into a hole here. I do not remember the fishing shack being this far south. Man, it is not in the spot. I remember it. Holy fuck. Body dragging with a cooler is super tough. Hey, here we are, coming up on the fishing hut. <laughs> Turns out, I asked this boat captain right here, I actually can't spearfish here because it's a nature reserve. Did he back? a massive chore. Oh, that sucked. Almost a two hour delay. Absolute worst wind angle to get out of that downwind hole I was in. Now I'm around the tip and I can finally go parallel. This is what the reef run's all about. Look at this. Woo! Oh, and after three hours on the water, Finally made it to the spot. Oh. Let's go. Put this bitch on there. Yeah. And here we go. Now it'd be nice. If she would just stay. As you can see, I got my kite uh, anchored here, and I've used my uh, second like freestyle leash, which is longer, to basically anchor all of my other equipment. And it all seems pretty secure. The only thing that's kind of sketchy is I am really dependent on this anchor right now. If uh, something were to happen here, I would be looking for a wand swim in. <laughs> <laughs> but I accidentally triggered the safety release and my kite went flying. Woo! And I got it. Somehow I still got the kite on the tether. 
Oh gosh, the fish. And I've got all my gear still. How did I pull that off? I have no idea. But I'm done collecting my luck for today. I'm gonna put the fish in the cooler, go down to the bar, hopefully they'll cook it up for me, and then go home. Holy shit. Pulled the kite up to the diving spot where there's a nice grill here. Get a little tether off. And now I'm gonna bring my two small fish up there and see if they'll cook it for me. And they're everywhere. They call them pot lookers. Is this the fish I caught? Yeah, this is the oh. fish you caught. Awesome. That is so cool. And here we go. Gonna eat it. Hey, what's your name? Tahira. <laughs> Shahira. Alright. Looks like we got one more challenge before I get back. There's a squall on the horizon. These things suck because all the wind died. They have just missed me, which is epic. I'm finally almost home. Holy shit. Probably the most epic downwinder of my life. Most epic upwind of my life. I lost the kite at one point, speared two fish, <laughs> got the fish grilled, and made it back by dodging a squaw. <laughs> I challenge you to have a better day than that. <laughs>